Hey, future Heather here. I forgot to film an intro yesterday. I am doing a little thrift with me and a thrift haul. So stick around to see what I got at this one store in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, it's been a while. I've been so busy, so I'm excited to go in and go thrifting. I have a little under two hours while my daughter's doing volleyball, so I will bring you guys along a little bit. Hopefully I find some good stuff because I'm really low. I actually have no death pile right now, so really hoping to get some good stuff to list over these next few days. Okay, so I almost always go to the shoe section first, and I'm not really on the hunt for anything particular as for style, but Athletic shoes are selling well for me right now. Hiking, running, um, casual sneakers like Vans are selling good for me. I've sold a few pair of sandals, so of course with it being springtime, I will check out sandals, but I'm not really ruling out boots or anything like that if they are a good brand. So this store usually has a lot of pretty good shoes. These are some Merrells, which are great for like hiking, trail, outdoor. I seem to sell, especially this kind of style, pretty good. I have a pair of like a Mary Jane style at home that's just sitting, but um, that style that's more like a tennis shoe does seem to go good. Those are Borns, and I thought they were a really cute style, but my boots aren't selling super well right now. I guess those are kind of like clogs, but I did decide to pass on them. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I wanted to make sure it was something that I really liked. Those are Javianas sandals uh like rubber flip-flops i did end up putting them in my cart i believe yes to look them up but they were not worth it to resell these also looked kind of cool it was some like brand from hawaii um i put these in my cart as well being summertime and i looked those up and comps were crappy so sometimes i'll put stuff in my cart but i'll look it up later and decide against it and then i end up just putting them back Okay, so these next few clips are just me going through some different racks of things at the thrift store. That was a pair of Adidas leggings that looked kind of cool that I thought I would pick up to check out. Those were Gap lounge like star print joggers. I almost got them, but uh, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling them. Um, I'm just going to go through here and I think it's a lot of brands and a lot of things that I did not get. So I'm just going to kind of let you guys watch and see what I passed on that I thought was Lululemon, but kind of like a fake tag to make it look like it. Um, sometimes watching what people pass on, I feel like it's just as important as what people pick up. So yeah, I guess just watch along and sorry if the camera's horrible. I'm trying to get better at this.
Okay, this is the short section. Those Roxy's were kind of cute, but that brand honestly does not sell that well for me. What sells best for me with shorts are denim shorts, usually high rise and distressed right now. So that's kind of what I focus on, but I'll still look through the other ones just in case something else is good. I don't know what that was. It looked like somewhat interesting, but apparently not enough for me to look up. So again, in this part of the video, I don't really think I find anything. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't a super great trip. Sometimes I can really stock up. Today was just average, but that's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. I did stop and take a little bit of look at those, but they were $15. If they were $5 or less, I would have bought them to resell. So that store ended up being okay. Nothing great, but nothing, well, I shouldn't say nothing bad. Um, obviously I left the bad stuff behind, that was stupid. Um, not a ton of items, I should say. I looked through pretty well. Um, it wasn't super packed, and I also feel like in the spring and summer, when they don't have out the sweaters and coats and stuff as much, I don't know, I just don't tend to get as many tank tops and short sleeves and things like that, just because the return on profit is not as high. So. Just have to kind of get interesting with how I source. I was looking for spring summer items, but I don't rule out other items. Let me know below what you guys do. Do you source for the season or do you pick up anything and list any time? I did just sell a pair of Christmas themed shoes the other day. So I list anything no matter what time of year it is and I will pick up anything and um, if it's a good brand or a good style and I don't hang on to it until that season just kind of not how I do my business, but um, it is Tuesday night, so I'm filming outside my daughter's volleyball. I'll probably do a haul tomorrow morning, and then I'll put this video together and hopefully get it out Wednesday for you guys. I feel like I've been busy, so if you watch my channel before, you know I'm doing this Flamingo fundraiser for the school that I coach at, and that's taking up two hours every day. We're also remodeling and just getting stuff ready in our house to sell, so that's also taking up time of my day. I'm just like, I don't know how people that have full-time jobs do this on the side and then still have time to like have a life because I feel like my reselling business takes up a decent amount of time. I mean, by the time I thrift, ship, take pictures, list, and all that stuff, like that's a decent amount of time. Then you mix in other things and if you have a family and things like that, I was like, oh, so if you guys are someone who does that, like that's awesome. But I'm glad that normally this is just my full-time job and I don't have like other major things going on. That would be really rough. So anyway, I will check in with you guys and I guess check in with you tomorrow. I'll do a haul tomorrow. I'll show you what I picked up and yeah, that's it. Okay, see you soon. Hey guys, I am back home. I am gonna show you what I picked up from the thrift store last night. I just went to one. I was there maybe about an hour and a half um shopping didn't find a ton like i said but i am going to show you what i got if you follow me on instagram you can kind of see because i post a lot of things that i'm maybe thinking about or maybe are brands that other people have picked up to let you guys vote would you get it would wouldn't you get it so it'd be kind of fun if you did see that to see what i did end up getting so the first thing i got were these pair of brooks shoes um i will pick up brooks a lot as long as they are in good condition 
and the tread looks pretty good, um, not too warm. These look like a gray and black pair and they are size eight. And kind of like the silver on the bottom. So these are in really good condition. So I got those. And then I also got these Merrill shoes. Um, so my shoes downstairs, I have like my heels and flats on a shoe rack. I have all my tennis shoes and like athletic kind of shoes in a big toy box. And then I have my boots just like under my coat rack. So um, what I've noticed is that my like tennis shoes and casual like sneakers sell the best. So I kind of maybe uh, lean more towards those at the thrift store or gravitate more towards those to pick those up. These Merrells are a size nine and a half. And so they're just a really nice hiking shoe for women. These will do really good. I think right now my Merrells usually sell fairly quickly. And this is the perfect time of year for that with spring. Um, next is a pair of leggings. These are Fabletics. So sometimes this rip tag is in here, sometimes it's not, but that's kind of what the logo looks like. If it's not and you think they are Fabletics, usually the logo is on the back. But I'm not seeing it on these. Anyway, these are a navy blue. I forgot to see what size they were. Size small, um, nice like high rise compression leggings. There's a little bit of like a pattern on the front here. So those will probably sell around 20 or $25. I almost always pick up Fabletics leggings, maybe not the crops, but um, otherwise they do pretty good for me around that range. This is a pair of Levi's 505 cutoff shorts. So somebody obviously used uh, jeans to make these. So I think that'll be really good. Um, I've seen people do their own distressing, but I'm not even gonna try to get into that. It says they're a size, let me see, 28, but I don't know. I don't know if this will convert to a 28. I guess I can measure and I'll make sure I put those measurements in the listing. If you guys do see anything you're interested in, please comment below. Um, otherwise you can DM me on Instagram or you can send a message to my email and where you can work out a deal off the platform that way, less fees. Um, I did pick up a few Under Armour men's items that are like a bigger size. They were a little bit expensive, so my brother doesn't usually get stuff. Um, if you don't know, I pick up stuff to give to my brother a lot. He sells on eBay. He pays me what I paid for it plus a little commission, but there's sometimes that things just aren't worth it for him. Um, so anyway, this is an Under Armour 3XL, like cold gear, half zip pullover. This one's green. And then I also got a purple one, so I probably will adjust these together because they are the exact same size and the exact same style. So those are pretty nice. The other things I got was two Under Armour shorts. So these are two XL and these ones are like a purple. Um, they look to be a little bit shorter length with, which I think is in style for guys, I guess. Um, not something my husband's getting into. <laughs> He's kind of old school with his style. Um, yeah, so these are two XL as well. Again, I might put them together. They're both the same brand. They're both the same size. So that's good. I will have men's stuff in my closet sometimes, stuff that my brother doesn't want to sell or things I get from my men's sort of rescue boxes. Um, this is a mod cloth, which I don't get too often, but this was in a size 2X. So the size is great and it's a really cute print. It's very springy, which I was kind of looking for. So it's um, like short sleeve floral and it has this like, tie. I don't know exactly how it goes, but it looks like it might be like a wrap style. So that's really pretty. My dog is like, Ellie, come here. Let's see if we can come here. Come here, Ellie. Oh, you got your toy. She's so cute. Okay. This is a Torrid 1X. So Torrid does kind of like their own, it doesn't say 1X, but that's what it is. It's a maroon floral like, like sweatshirt. It looks like it might be a little bit of a shorter style, but not totally a crop. So that's good. And then this is another Torrid. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't this the best when you get something home and realize it's new with tags? <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that was new with tags. So this is also a size 1X. It's a green, cute, like crisscross front dress with this nice full skirt. Okay, that makes me even more excited that it's 
new with tags. Okay, a couple more little boxes here. Let's do this last pair of shoes. Um, these are Cole Haan, which hasn't been doing super great for me, but I like this style. I feel like it was pretty unique. They are a size six and a half B. So those are cool. Okay, last bag. This is gonna be kind of a short video, I guess, but I didn't get that much stuff and I wanted to make sure to get out a video during the week for you guys because I just feel like I've been like overwhelmed. Anyway, I already talked about that early. This is Ivory Ella, which has that classic like elephant logo. These are size medium and they're a pair of leggings. So nothing too crazy, but I think people like this brand enough that these will sell. And they have the little elephant down here on the bottom and they are in really good condition. Oh, I see what Ellie's doing. She's tearing out the stuffing. Ellie, what are you doing? Did you tear the stuffing out? <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> She's so funny. We let her have old stuffed animals sometimes and she loves to take the stuffing out. Okay, this is another pair of leggings. These ones are Adidas. So I don't get Adidas leggings all the time, but these ones seem to be high rise and they're kind of a cool style with these different stripes. Oh my gosh, she's hitting the tripod with her chewing. Anyway, I like this design. These are a size medium. They say climb a light. So I'll look up and see if I can find the exact style. That's the back. So those are cool. And another pair of leggings. These are Under Armour, which I also don't get a lot. These ones are heat gear size small. But these ones also, I just like the design and that's a full length. They do have zippers down here on the bottom. And the last thing I got was this humongous bra. So um, I always look for this brand Cacique. Is that how you say it? Um, their bras sell pretty well for me. This one's a size 41, 42i, which I don't, I'm not even gonna try to figure that out right now. I have like nothing going on, so this is like <laughs> complete opposite, but it was $3 and this will do well because everybody needs a bra, right? Okay, Ellie, you wanna smell it? She always gotta sniff everything. Okay, so that is my short little haul. I know my footage in the store wasn't great because every time I took out my video, I wasn't finding anything. And then when I wasn't doing a video, I was, and I didn't want to just like set it up to act like I found something while I was shaking when I'm like, you know what, whatever. That's just how it goes sometimes. You don't find tons of stuff. So um, I probably will be going maybe to a consignment store later this week and hopefully shopping on Friday. I will be done with my little fundraiser thing where I'm going out every day this week. So I'll be able to kind of get back more to normal next week. I haven't been able to, I haven't been like posting on Instagram as much like YouTube. I don't know, just all kinds of things, but I'm still getting my listings done. Sometimes I feel like I need to make sure I'm just doing those basic things when I do get busier. Like I don't worry about social media, um, take my pictures, get my listings, do my shipping because that's the main things of my business. Anyway, I'm not making money off of this other stuff yet. So that is what I focus on. Okay, guys, if you did like this video, please push that thumbs up button down below. If you would like to see more reseller content, you can hit the subscribe button with that little bell next to it. That way you'll get notifications every time I put out a new video. So I will see you guys on Friday for Flippin' Friday. So be sure to check that out to see what I sold this past week. Bye, guys.